Hey guys, this is Jamie. So today I want to talk about uh, some cultural differences and uh, specifically when it comes to uh, what ideologies your parents sort of like politically follow and uh, reactions to coming out and stuff. So this was actually suggested to me by my partner and I was like, nah, I don't feel like it today. And then uh, I started uh, scrolling Twitter and uh, the fact that it was Martin from the Mode's birthday uh, kind of made me stop and think even further. Uh, one of my sort of favorite topics to talk about and raise awareness about is that obviously there is no right way to be a binary dude. And, uh, uh, well, besides feeling binary yourself. And it doesn't matter, like, if you're wearing makeup or dresses. Um, yeah. And uh, I wanted to highlight this because I was thinking about this topic. And uh, I actually remembered that the first time I saw a man wearing a dress, uh, it was actually Martin, Martin Gore from Dutch Mode, and it was, it was a live gig. I, I won't remember, he was just wearing a dress during the gig, and uh, I asked uh, my sister at the time, um, why is he wearing a dress? And she said something along the lines of, oh, he just, you know, likes to dress that way. There's nothing wrong with that. Which is really funny and ironic because, uh, obviously, if you've been following my channel, uh, she's a very abusive person and I got cut off from her part of the family. And she was also the first person to introduce me to gay people. And uh, another thing was interesting was that uh, she and her husband, when Tattoo were big at the time, uh, they gave me, they bought me a rare uh, single remix of all the things she says from Japan. And uh, I still really enjoy those remixes. But uh, the point is, they were very homophobic at the time, but then as the years passed, like they slowly started opening up a bit, like to gay people, not much to trans. So. And uh, I thought, well, maybe. And I remember that she supported Bernie Sanders at the time, which was completely shocking to me. Uh, because I thought that someone that conservative wouldn't even think about Bernie Sanders, actually. So it was really interesting. And obvious, probably, that she wouldn't budge, but uh, then... So this is sort of like my story. Um, then, for instance, my dad was, well, is very liberal, not liberal, but he's very gay accepting and uh, trans accepting. So even though we've had like our moments, he always was supportive after I came out and he still continues to support. But I do have to say that back in, uh, back in the day, like even before I came out, he and uh, his wife, uh, they would always go to Gay Pride to protect and raise awareness, which was, I thought was always really nice. So kind of, I didn't, but because I was burned from my sister and my mom, I kind of wasn't sure, like, what if I'm missing something? Because my mom was also kind of very liberal 
and I was just standing and I remember the day before I came out to her um, we talked about trans children and I told her like in very specific words that trans children should be respected uh, but yeah it didn't go well with my moment originally and it lasted with bickering and not talking for a few years uh, well, with my dad, on the opposite, he told me he loves me, he told me uh, I should have told him sooner, and he was sad that I didn't feel safe enough to come out to him. Uh, so yeah, and then we were like thinking, me and my partner, like a very sort of unusual case would be his parents when they found out that uh, I'm trans and all this in a gay relationship. Uh, we were expecting that to go so, so bad because they're like proper Brazilian right wing. Um, but they've been nothing but supportive. Like, sure, there were some, like, misunderstandings, invasive questions, but nothing like what we expected. So that's one is an interesting one, and that's why in the, in the beginning of this video I said cultural differences, because when you look at the US, you think, uh, oh, okay, my, let's pretend I'm American, my, uh, Dad, my mom are both conservative Christians and they will not accept me. And, uh, or uh, like, my mom is a Democrat, my dad's a Democrat, and they will accept me no matter what. And obviously, in the US, I feel like that it, it is, it is indeed the case for most cases. It's very sort of black and white. While, uh, I still think there needs to be this awareness that no matter if your parents are Republic, Republican or Democrat, they can still flare or understand or deny their kid. So it's very important that people understand, I think, sort of get prepared for any scenario, actually, because de facto is that we as trans people, we don't have the luxury of knowing what to expect. We can prepare, but we will most likely not guess. And uh, that is indeed a shopping reality. So yeah, so that kind of motivated me to talk about it, like starting from Martin's dress and uh, in general I have a very very strong connection with Depeche Mode uh, not just because of Martin's dress but I grew up listening to them and it's still sort of difficult at times because my sister is such a massive fan at the time uh, now she's not a fan, she doesn't listen to their newer stuff. I don't think she listens to anything beyond Ultra. Yeah. So, well, I enjoy... Uh, I enjoyed Exciter a lot. I enjoyed playing Angel a lot. And I enjoyed Sounds of the Universe as well. And uh, I didn't like Delta Machine. Uh, I'm trying to get into the new album, but I did like uh, Where's the Revolution though? I forgot the name of the album, I'm sorry, I just <laughs> slipped my mind. But yeah. So this whole incident with the dress kind of highlighted the fact that some people can explain certain things and be 
a bit supportive and then just like go completely reverse as time goes. So yeah, that was, that was that's pretty much it to be honest. Um, I also want to say that I'm finally back from exams. So um, it's really nice to be back and to have sort of space to talk about and everything. Uh, so yeah, that's what it was been going on in my life. And um, I want to say that I really appreciate all the support I've been given. Uh, I reached 300 recently, so that made me very, very giddy. And I really want to thank everyone for that. Obviously, please like the video, share it, uh, subscribe, obviously. And also, I have a coffee in. Um, where basically you can donate, I think it's three euros for me to have a cup of coffee and I do enjoy coffee. So obviously if you feel like it, feel free to donate, I'd be very grateful. And it's in the description down below. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.